Hi there, today I will present the latest evidence on the use of phenylephrine in septic shock patients. This presentation was prepared by Dr. Namarek Alderdeer, who is a clinical pharmacist at King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Center in Jeddah. Phenylephrine is a potent direct-acting alpha-adrenergic agonist that increases systematic vascular resistance and is known to decrease heart rate and cardiac output. It has a rapid onset and a duration that lasts for up to 20 minutes, and it metabolizes hepatically. Many studies including case report and case series showed the cardiac slowing effect of phenylephrine in patients with tachycardia. A recent study examined whether changing septic shock patients with rapid atrial fibrillation from norepinephrine to phenylephrine would have a clinical impact on achieving rate control. The study included 67 patients, with 28 patients switched to phenylephrine. The unadjusted hazard ratio for achieving rate control was significant for the phenylephrine group, suggesting a potential clinical effect. However, after adjusting for confounding factors, the hazard ratio was no longer significant, and there were no significant differences in mortality or ICU length of stay between the two groups. In another study, the authors aimed to compare the effect of phenylephrine and norepinephrine initiation on heart rate among sepsis patients with atrial fibrillation. The study included 1847 patients and looked at heart rate at 1 and 6 hours after initiation of vasopressors. Results showed modestly lower heart rates with phenylephrine compared to norepinephrine at 1 and 6 hours after vasopressor administration. Patients who received phenylephrine showed a larger heart rate reduction if they had a higher heart rate before vasopressor administration. Secondary outcomes, such as conversion to sinus rhythm, bradycardia, vasopressor duration, ICU, and hospital length of stay, and hospital death, did not differ between the two groups. The study concluded that, in patients with sepsis and atrial fibrillation, the initiation of phenylephrine was associated with a lower heart rate compared with norepinephrine. There was no observed effect on clinical outcome. Arishi and colleagues published a retrospective cohort study aimed to compare the outcomes of 158 septic shock patients treated with norepinephrine and phenylephrine versus 129 patients treated with norepinephrine and vasopressin. At baseline, no significant difference between both groups in Apache 2 score or cardiovascular comorbidities, however, a statistically significant difference in median heart rate was seen in the norepinephrine-phenylephrine group. The results showed no significant difference in in-hospital mortality, ICU length of stay, or hospital length of stay between the two groups. Multivariate analysis also showed no significant association of norepinephrine with phenylephrine with in-hospital mortality compared to norepinephrine with vasopressin. The study suggests that phenylephrine used as a second-line vasoactive agent combined with norepinephrine may be a reasonable option compared to vasopressin but further randomized controlled trials are necessary to validate this finding. Another recent retrospective study by he and colleagues aimed to evaluate the effect of combining phenylephrine with norepinephrine compared to norepinephrine alone on all-cause hospital mortality in patients with septic shock. 1,747 adult patients were included in the study, with 1,055 receiving norepinephrine alone and 692 receiving a combination of norepinephrine and phenylephrine. The combination group had a higher hospital mortality, longer stay in the ICU and in the hospital, and received mechanical ventilation for longer duration compared to the group of norepinephrine alone. Of note, patients in the combination group had higher SOFA scores, higher rate of arrhythmias history, higher rate of mechanical ventilation, and higher initial doses of pressors, which might contribute to increased mortality. The study suggests that combining phenylephrine with norepinephrine may be inferior to norepinephrine alone in patients with septic shock, however, further research is necessary to confirm these findings. Another study evaluated the impact of a national shortage of norepinephrine, the first-line vasopressor for septic shock, on patient care and outcomes in the United States. The retrospective cohort study included 27,835 adults with septic shock admitted to 26 hospitals between 2008 and 2013. 
During the norepinephrine shortage, its use declined, and the use of phenylephrine increased from around 36% to 54%. Patients admitted to hospitals during quarters of norepinephrine shortage had a higher rate of in-hospital mortality compared to those admitted during quarters of normal use, with an absolute risk increase of 3.7%. This study raises a concern about the possible relationship between phenylephrine use and increased hospital mortality. It is unclear whether the new evidence regarding the use of phenylephrine in patients with sepsis and tachycardia will lead to its inclusion in the upcoming sepsis guidelines. Further research and expert consensus will likely be necessary to fully evaluate the role of phenylephrine in the management of sepsis-related tachycardia and its potential inclusion in future sepsis guidelines. In summary, while the studies suggest that phenylephrine may lower heart rate compared to norepinephrine, phenylephrine effect on clinical outcomes, such as mortality and length of stay, is not clear. These studies are retrospective studies and have limitations. Additional studies with larger sample sizes and randomized controlled designs may help to provide more robust evidence on the potential benefits and risks of using phenylephrine in these patients. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful to summarize the available evidence on this topic. For more educational materials and resources, please visit www.icureach.com.